Alrighty then, let's get the show on the road. Okay, so here we are in my little, little hut, hideaway, whatever you want to call it in my backyard. It's a quiet place to start filming today and about a topic that is very relevant nowadays. Tattoos, piercings, and individualism. Oh my. In the workplace today, tattoos, see tattoos here, tattoos here, are becoming a more acceptable or more common Let's repeat that word, common, not acceptable, part of the workplace. It's interesting to see how companies are starting to change and accept it, but not many have changed their HR policies or codes to do so. Why are people scared of tattoos? And we'll talk about piercings in a second. Tattoos, if they're clean, they're neat, they're not offensive, I have no issue with one of my employees having them on the hand, on the arm. If it's on the face, let's see, let's talk about it. Depending on the customer you're serving, but depending on your clientele, it's a difference from having someone at Neiman Marcus to, I don't know, let's say Urban Outfitters, two different clientele, two different types of employee. So once again, it's all depending on the needs of that company. It needs to be made very clear within a dress code, dress code policy, which some people have, some people don't. They change, they flip flop, they go back and forth. Uh, one thing, let me remind you, dress code policy, very important. Have the employees sign off on it because that makes them accountable for it. They change something, well, they need to give you notice. How about piercings? I got piercings here in my ears, in my nose. Wife doesn't like these that much. These, it was funny when she first saw this one, she thought I had something in my nose and looks at me and goes, you got something right over here. She's pretending to pick her nose to show me. Are they acceptable? Once again, type of client that you have. Type of team that you have, employees that you have. It is becoming more acceptable to see this stuff in the workplace. So we gotta rest assured that we don't want to, I don't want to say offend anyone, because this is, this is not offensive. I don't know why this would offend anyone. It's my choice. But it's within the culture of your company. What is culture? That's a whole other story. Piercings, tattoos, individuality. Oh my. It's a very touchy topic to talk about. I don't know where exactly I stand, even though I have tattoos and piercings. It depends on, the, once again, the place you're working for is representative of the culture that they want to represent to their clientele. Only thing I will keep on saying, they cannot be offensive. And you know what offensive means. There's a whole bunch of shit out there. In the past, in the, well, in the future, if you could do a future offensive thing, it wouldn't be offensive Could you correct it. So, what else do I have to say about this? What are your thoughts on tattoos, piercings, and being an individual? An individual, let me put that into play too. Different hairstyle, different hair coloring. I don't have any hair, so I can't do any coloring here, but I can color this and no, it's not gonna happen. I already have like three shades happening here, so that's natural. That's it guys. That's my rant for today. Let your people be who they may. You have the right not to hire someone. That's in your right, but make sure it's for the right reason. If it's only because of a body tattoo or piercing, but they fit the job profile perfectly, you're the one who may be losing out, not the employee or potential employee because you just didn't know what to do. Until next time, bye-bye.